Which ordered pair, x, y, satisfies the system of equations shown below? This is a question where we're going to solve it the typical systems of equations way. We've seen some of these so far, and we will see more later in this uh, series. And what I want to emphasize in this video is checking your answer it can be really helpful to really make sure to, to confirm that you've gotten that question right. As I mentioned in previous video, the more ways you can approach a question, whether doing it more than one way, or in this case, plugging in your answer to make sure it works, just amplifies the chance that you're going to get it right, that you haven't made a mistake. So first, let's solve it, and then we'll check. So 2x minus y equals 6, x plus 2y equals negative 2. So I'll multiply the bottom by 2, so that eventually, I, or sorry, the top one by 2, so that eventually I'll be able to cancel out the y's. So I'm going to get 4x minus 2y is equal to 12, x plus 2y equals negative 2. So now we'll go ahead and we'll add these two. So I'm going to get 5x for my x's. My y's cancel, which is exactly what I wanted to happen. It's why I multiplied the top guy by 2. This equals 10. So x equals 2. And right away, notice we can pretty much go with c because it's the only one that has the x coordinate of 2. But let's plug this in and just get a y coordinate and see what happens. So uh, let's plug it into the bottom guy. 2 plus 2y equals negative 2. So 2y is equal to negative 4. y is equal to negative 2. So hooray, that extra works for choice C. But now, like I said, let's really confirm this one by plugging this point into both equations. Now, we've already done it for the bottom one, so there's really no point in plugging that one in again. Though, I mean, you guess, I guess you can see 2 plus negative 4 is equal to negative 2. But let's plug it into the top guy and make sure this works. So 2 times 2 minus negative 2, hopefully equals 6. 4 minus negative 2 is plus 2. And of course, 6 equals 6, so it checks out. So at this point, we are as close to certain as we can be that we've gotten this question right. We solved it. We got an x. It was the only x here. We plugged it in. We got a y. It was the only y here that works. And we plugged the point into both equations, and it worked in both. So this really confirms the answer. And the more you can do this on questions, the higher your accuracy rate is going to be. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll. And you can find the link in the description below the video.